Hey guys, welcome to this video and in today's lesson we're going to talk about how to play toms on the cajon. So you would have seen drummers going with their toms in the drum set, right? But the cajon does not have this, or does it? Well, it has to a certain extent. Let me explain. So on the tapa, there is tension, right? All you need to do is manipulate this tension. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to apply pressure from the top of the cajon, somewhere near the snare area, right down to the bottom and then to release. When you are trying to play the toms, try to play more open tones. And what do I mean by open tones? Bass. Snares more flat and more focused and more direct. Bass is an open flat palm bass tone. It's more suitable when playing the toms. So put your foot up right here, apply a bit of pressure slowly bring your slide your foot down and you'll see it going from a higher pitched tone to a lower pitched one the second way to play toms is if you don't wish to slide your foot all the way up to down you can just apply pressure towards the center of the cajon and press in and then release so as you are playing the, your toms like you know you release it all right so let, let me show you how it's done Hear it one more time. So these are the two ways. I prefer the first way where you slide your foot from the top of the cajon to the bottom. One thing to note when you're playing the toms on the cajon is please try to put on a pair of socks <laughs> because it's going to help you slide your foot down. See? Easy. If you don't have a pair of socks on, your skin might be too rough or it just it'll make the slide much more difficult. So one more time, let's try to play the toms again. You can also go backward. But it's more difficult. One more time. Difficult because you need to bring your foot, your whole leg upwards now instead of downwards. So there you go. That's how you play toms on the cajon. Remember, put on a pair of socks. Uh, as you are applying the pressure from up to down, slide your foot down slowly, listen to the difference in tone, and that's how you manipulate the tapa of the cajon. So that's it. You can now start playing toms on the cajon if you haven't already. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Keep drumming. Bye-bye.